gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks for taking some time to check the video out. Just uh, Elijah and me are out here today. Super nice day on the water to get a little fishing done. And what I want to do today is I want to give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish vertical bluff walls, um, which is one of the top late winter, early springtime structures uh, that you can possibly fish. So I've got a, a nice little bluff wall in front of me here and I'm going to run through it and give you guys a sort of a sort of a, a foundational approach how I like to go about fishing them this time of year. I think it might help you guys catch some good fish coming up this month. So here we go. Okay guys, here we go. Here's a, a typical sort of a bluff wall, sort of a bluff channel wall. Now these can be located, you know, on the main lake or in creeks. It doesn't really matter. They're just, or they're all over the place, but they're sort of characterized um, just by, like you see here, vertical walls that drop straight off. Uh, you may have some isolated rock piles. By the way, if you guys find uh, some type of a rock slide like this, th these are always high percentage areas. You don't have to key on them all the time. It's not like you can target them, but you always want to hit them. But the main thing, guys, as you can see here, just this bluff wall, um, this is an excellent area. This time of year, late winter, early spring, when the water temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Now, the one thing that you'll notice about this is all bluff walls are not created the same because some of them, uh, they will have a super, super sharp drop right off it. And some of them have a gradual slope. Like you can see here, you know, we're only, you know, in nine foot of water right here. So this is a, a fairly, you know, flat slope here, but that, it still can be really good because there's always a lot of big busted up rock in the water just out in front of it there. But what you want to do is based upon the angle of the bank and how steep the water is dictates your approach. Most all the time, um, even on an area like this that's fairly shallow, I like to get my boat in fairly tight to the bank like this, you know, probably anywhere between, you know, four to five feet. And I like to make long parallel casts, you know, straight down the, the bluff wall. Now, how far out I go depends upon the water clarity more so than the depth. I mean, if the water clarity is like over four foot deep, I look for these fish to be suspended out farther off the bank. And if the water clarity is like here, a little bit more off colored, I look for the fish to be anywhere between the bank, maybe five feet off the bank, something like that. So let your water clarity dictate how far you fish off the bank over the depth here. Now, a couple different approaches. That's my number one approach. My number two approach is if it, you're on a little bit flatter area like we are right here, sometimes I'll get at a 45 degree angle and I like to pitch a jig into the bank there. You know, just pitch it up to the bank, work it out here. Before when I was talking about, I'm talking about like crank baits, spinner baits, jerk baits, chatter baits, but sometimes I'll get off the bank like at a 45 degree angle and, you know, make those pitches into the bank, you know, working it all the way back to the back to the bank. Now, the straight areas like this can be really good, but, uh, you know, one of the big key areas is you want to get to any type of a uh, secondary point that comes up to these things, and we'll take a look at that right okay, now. Okay, guys, I'll give you a good little tip here. Now, here's the point end of this particular bluff wall right here, and a lot of people would say, well, the point's going to be the best place. Guys, the points are not the best place on a bluff wall, and the reason is that, the reason behind that is because everybody fishes this. This is obvious as a sore thumb, and yeah, 40 years ago possibly, but anymore they're not. The key areas on this are more along the straight stretches or maybe from the point back 100 yards or so, but not necessarily right on the point here. I mean, these points, fish will use them obviously. It's not like there's no fish on them, but fish have been educated to sort of stay off them and they get more on the sides here. So concentrate more on the sides when you get to it. Also, one other thing about these these uh, bluff walls, um, shade or lack of shade can play a role too. If you've got off colored water and water temperatures under 50 degrees, you really want the sun on these banks. But if the water clarity is say over three or four feet and you got water temperatures over 50, it's always good to have a little bit of shade on them. It really acts as sort of cover. So um, that's some really good tips. Okay, there. guys, there you go. Some good bluff wall tips for, uh, you know, late late winter, early spring. Um, these areas, guys, these are one of the top areas for catching big fish. I mean, there's a lot of really quality pre-spawn females that move up and use this type of stuff. What they do, a lot of them will stage on these bluffy type areas before moving like back into, say, an adjacent cove like that to spawn when it's warmer. 
but um, it's one of the best areas that you can catch four pound plus fish on. So give them a try. Now's the best time to fish them. I mean, it's uh, it's right in the prime time season from now for the next month. So hope it helps out. We'll talk to you guys later.